Hi everybody, and welcome back to another episode from your best buddy. We're back with Ash and Bash. We're working to level 10. We're doing some dungeons. Let's go. Uh, I don't think I've done this one yet on the channel, so this ought to be exciting. Oh, I definitely haven't because I can do the quest. All right, quest time. Oh, baby. I don't care. This is the, that's not, that, whatever. Oh, I want the book. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Oh, crap. <laughs> so I've changed up, I've changed up uh, my, uh, my skill section. Because I'm trying to uh, get to Inferno on my Draconic Arts or whatever it's called. So I just have a bunch of Draconic Arts skills uh, uh, equipped on my bar so that I level up faster on that, um, on that skill line. Because I just really want Inferno. I don't. I don't think I. Uh, on on the Earthen abilities, I'm gonna eventually get to the the Ash Cloud ability that I want. Anyways, because like I got like a few Infernal abilities already always equipped, so that'll just uh, unlock naturally. But the uh, the Infernal would just take forever if all I right, if I never equipped all these other Infernal abilities. It's still probably gonna take a while because it is the last skill you unlock but I'll get it either way one of these days uh, I'll get it all right kill kill them kill the lizard women kill them all if that's something I can't stand it's lizard women except except for Argonian women they're fine I can deal with Argonian women oh, I gotta talk to you again Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Yo, do I have to talk to Did I not? I thought I talked to you already. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Let's go. Sorry. All right, I'll let him know. Doing quest. Sorry. <laughs> Don't hate me. Ah, oh, crap. So, the thumb pad of my controller just fell off. <laughs> That's gonna suck. No, my thumb, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna get all like damaged. Dang it! My muscle memory. Aw, oh, how nice. All good things, buddy. I'll be dead. And you'll be back to where you started. Let's talk about Argonian women for a second. Cause cause you gotta ask. You, you have to ask. Why do they have boobies? You know, why do they have breasts? Hey, we need skill points. Uh, okay. Cause they don't do like the milk thing that mammals do. They shouldn't have breasts is the thing. So I, I know like a lot of fanboys and uh, I guess a fair amount of fangirls too. Like the fat, like they like to fetishize the Argonians or whatever. But, but they shouldn't have Dabuba. They shouldn't have Dabuba. I've read theories that perhaps, like the the hist sap or whatever it is that they like that is very important to their culture and everything. Uh, they. They can, they can have it. How, how would they have it in their boobs? Like the theory is that they use it to like feed their young, his sap from their breast. But how do they get it in their in the breast to begin with? How do they get it there? Do they go to like Black Marsh and and go to a his tree and kind of fill up, fill up the reserves, and then after a while they come back and? Cause that would require like not every Argonian woman could. So you're telling me, like, an, an Argonian that lives in Skyrim or something crazy, like, somewhere far away, you're telling me that they're going to trek all the way to Black Marsh just to refill their boobies? No, it doesn't make sense. We, we all know why they, we, we know, we all know why they have boobs. It's because, like, sex sells and, you know, the overwhelming majority of people who play video games are male and they want that male gaze kind of stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking a little, uh, uh, <laughs> social sciences over here. 
<laughs> but, but, like, I mean, that's why they do, right? That's why they do. And that's, that's also an another reason why a lot of, like, weird things in video games exist, you know? Like, like, here, here's another favorite, like, the bikini, the bikini armor. You know, the very, the scantily clad armor that somehow is protecting the, the, the female warriors and stuff in video games. And not even so far as to say, oh, sorry. Not even so far as to say, like, just the bikini armor stuff. Like, even if women warriors in video games are, like, heavily clad in armor. Like, this person right here. She's very armored up, right? But look, look. She's got, she's got boob pockets, right? So even if they're wearing, even if they're, like, at first glance very heavily armored, they still have to show that this is, in fact, a woman. You know, they still have to be like, oh, don't worry, she's still a woman. She's still got boobs, so don't you cry your little, you know, sexist head off or something. <laughs> ah, wow. Okay. But it, it's just odd, because, like, I mean, you, you gotta wonder how little balls that video game developers have, because they can't go against the status quo, right? You have to give the female people like this this thing you you have there's ex there's expectations in video games that these things are going to exist and it's just a little absurd you know because after so many years of like video games existing you, you, at what point do, do you just kind of say you're over it, you know? Because I'm over it. I'm over it. You can give women realistic armor. You can take away the boobs from the lizard women. Like, I'm over it. You can do that. I don't speak for everyone, obviously, because they're still doing it. But I think the tide is changing just a little bit. Just a, just an iota. Because I'm over it, you know? I don't care if, if my women are sexy in video games. All I care is that the video game is good. <laughs> Interesting. If it's fun, if it's good, if it's if it's fun to play, you know, that's all that matters. You don't need eye candy. You, you don't. Developers, I promise you, if you make a fun game, you don't need the eye candy. I promise you. People will play it. Who did it? Who did it? You son of a gun. You freaking idiot. Follow the group, bro. Follow the group. Why you have to go and aggro all these people, huh? Make everything take that much longer. Right, whatever. Someone's got their little chef for Zezra. Oh, look at the chicken! That's funny. That's funny. I like that. That's funny. And, and even if... It, so, back on topic here. <laughs> Because the topic is definitely talking about, like, women in video games and stuff, right? That's definitely the topic. But back to what I was saying, I suppose is a better way to put it. Like, if you don't, if you, if the developers decided not to add, like, bikini armor and, like, blue plate and stuff like that, people are still gonna, like, the, people will find a way. Like, not that it's a bad thing that they will find a way. Developers, you don't need to worry about giving them that, that giving players the chance to like figure this stuff out for themselves to like to to satiate their their depravity i suppose because like even if you don't give them sexy armor some person is going to make a character let's say this game for example some person's going to make an elder scrolls character they're going to make a female a, a woman character and they're going to just like run around without any clothes on like, they'll find a way to, like, to fill the niche. So you don't need to fill it for them. They'll, they'll find ways to make it, quote-unquote, sexy. <laughs> you know? Because I, I gotta say, in, in almost every video game I've ever played, at least a, a MMO, not every video game, but every MMO, there has been somebody who is running around as a woman too, as a woman character without any clothes you know and they're just like in their underwear or even like if the game allows nudity they'll just be naked you know like conan exiles or something like that so you don't need to as a as a video game developer you do not need 
they give them the boo plate, the bikini armor. They'll just, they'll do what they want to get the boo. If they want to see the digital boobs, they will see the digital, they'll find a way to see the digital boobs. You're not protecting anybody. <laughs> and that's me. That's me talking to you here. Like, I'm like the probably the most prolific video game uh, creator ever made, you know, so. My, what I'm saying, it, it's got some worth to it. Is my poker face good enough? Do, is that believable? Do I have a good poker face? Yeah, maybe not. Just in case I did convince anybody, I'm not a video game developer. <laughs> Kill the big rock monster. Kill the big rock. Oh, okay. I can never dodge that. That always gets me. Very bright, very scary. Destroy the rock, destroy the rock. Get it. Alright, let's go. Off we go. Off we go. And that, is, by the way, that is, when I said that people running around in bikinis and stuff, that includes this game. I've seen plenty of uh, players running around in, in, as, as female characters with just bikinis. And you gotta, you gotta wonder. I mean, not really, because odds are the answer to the question is yes. But, you have to ask yourself, is this person playing, is, is, is it a guy, <laughs> is it a dude, just running around as like some naked, half naked, uh, woman, eye candy for the entire town and whatnot. Eliminate them. It, like, thinking about it, it's, it's a little, it's, it's... It's odd that even developers do get the option, not not get the option, but they do design the armor to like be scantily clad in, in some cases and stuff. Why do they do that? Because on the one hand, what they're up against is, is the internet, all of the internet. And let me tell you, the internet has them out, outmatched. Some of the things you can find on on any search engine definitely outmatch anything you could find in like a video game. Even if you even if you download mods to like make the the characters like even if the game doesn't allow nudity or something, and you can like download a mod that does in fact allow nudity. Like, what do you want? Just go to Google and like. All it takes is 10 seconds to search what you're looking for, and I guarantee you it exists. For better or for worse, you know? Because <laughs> some people are kind of, like, terrible. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. But, like... I guess at the end of the day, what I'm really trying to say is, game developers, please, just... Just stop with the sexy. Stop with the sexy. You don't need to be sexy. The internet's got plenty of sexy. You don't need to be the sexy. You know? You don't need to be the sexy. Oh, I gotta talk. Oh, okay. No, please. Like, even, ba even this battle rate. Like, look! You don't need that! Just, just give her, like, armor. Just give her normal armor. You don't need that. Like, here? Here's fine. Like, this is fine. That's fine because she's wearing clothes, you know? Like, obviously breasts are going to show through clothes. But through plate armor, you don't need the boot plate. You don't need it. It'll look just, it'll look fine without that. I might be angering a lot of, like, videos, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of players, but... This is just my, how I feel, you know? This is what I, now I'm just some random guy from 
nowhere. Like, I'm a nobody. So you don't have to listen to me. Like, most of you aren't even going to even hear what I have to say. But, that's that's just what I have. That's just, that's just my two cents on the matter, you know. You don't have to be sexy. The internet's got sexy cover. They, they have the niche of sexy figured out. All it takes is a quick Google search. You can find all the sexy you want. You don't need to find it in your video games. I should have known one of Because it, it just looks ridiculous to me. Marmara to me. Like, the, if she were to fall straight on her chest, that's a spear point going straight into her sternum. She'll die. She can't fall on her chest. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Indeed. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like this one, give it a like and subscribe while you're at it. That'll make me feel real good. But uh, in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!